Weekend upon us. Let's find out what we're in for. Meteorologist Byron Miranda. Would you like a 50? Sure. Another 50. All right, I'm rolling the dice. Because, you know, Vanessa said, Byron, could this be the warmest? Well, if we get to 50, Vanessa, because of you, <laughs> I'm going 50. Now, if we don't hit it, John, it's because of Vanessa. Okay, All deal. Right. So uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm the only person going to say that now, and I was inspired by Vanessa. Looking at the radar, there's no precipitation at this hour. Here's the story. There could be a drop or two somewhere around. Don't worry about that. This is the key here. You see this cold front here, and when I say cold, I should say frigid front. Because once this front pushes through later this night, uh, this evening, 7, 8 o'clock, then that Arctic air from Canada is really going to come down in a big, bad way. But not today. The story is high pressures to the south, and you know that gives us a southerly flow, rotation around the highs clockwise. That's going to bring up the warmth. A little bit of drop or two, I said possible, not a big deal. But the story, really, while I say it's story number two, it really is the main story. Mild now, but much colder, much frigid, more frigid temperatures in the forecast over the next two days after today. Currently 39 in the city. We're at 38 Hoboken, 35 north and south on Long Island, 30 in the northwest, and then your temperature to be exact in Mount Vernon is 20 degrees. Today, with winds out of the west, just like yesterday, last night we started to warm up because we had the wind shift to the west and southwest. With this wind today, that's going to heat us up. No one else is saying this in the tri-state. And I'm rolling the dice. Most models are saying 43, but I think we could get up to 50. Hmm? All right, 49, Ozone Park, Irvington 51, Largemont 47, Garden City 48. What makes the compare and contrast so drastic here is that once that front pushes through that I showed you, I called it the frigid front, and it takes the winds out of Canada, that is going to bring the temperatures down to a wind chill of 14. I don't care about the air temperature. I care about what you're going to feel like. So today at 50 degrees for Soho and then tomorrow with winds out of Canada, it will feel like 14. That's tomorrow afternoon. Irvington goes from 51 today to 2, 3 p.m. Saturday afternoon feeling like 15. And then Sunday morning we have a single digit in the forecast. And then maybe snow next week. I'll discuss that when I come back. Extended forecast. We're rolling the dice. Jail 50 today, but brutally cold over the weekend. You're going to have to bundle up.